elbow and do as slow as you can. The slow, slow is the hard, hard part. I liked it better when we could dance and fall to the ground or stand up, but every time she made us control our bodies, I started shaking. Slow, 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 slow. Yeah. <laughs> Floating like water. Like water. And you can see some moves that looked almost like Tai Chi. Yeah. Uh, very slow and meditative. And we don't see that a lot in the state. The slowing down part is hard. Yes. <laughs> the next moment is when you do the fast moment and then you can immediately. When you watch them at Cloudgate, you don't really appreciate how great they are until you have to try it yourself. And yeah. then you have so much more respect for all of them. They the make dancers. it look so easy. They made it look so easy. Now we have the opportunity to not only get in touch with our inner selves, but also with each other's outer selves. After our very warming warm-up, we strip it down and using what we had learned in our crash course in cloud gating, bear it all out in nature. Cloud gate soothes the soul, but works the abs. I used to do a lot of hip hop choreography, so I danced with like the job walkies back in the days and um, a lot of pop logging and a lot of different things. Totally different dancing. It's all about listening to the beat, but for this type of dance, there was no music. It was uh, more focusing on the person, on the breathing, and the being with your intuition and your gut. It was like a meditation. Honestly, I meditate, but this was like dancing meditation. When we did different exercises with the fingers and touching, it's like an energy exchange, you know? You're learning how to move with other people and being very cautious of, you know, how they're feeling and where they're moving. It was a much stronger feeling than you would think from just a fingertip. Like, yeah. you could really feel much more energy and in you that. You had to listen to your partner, what they were telling you without speaking. So if they were touching your finger or maybe pushing you one way, you had to kind of just go with the flow. Very focused and, and try to be in tune with your body and the other person's body. I had done classical ballet for a very long time, which I know at Cloudgate that they study classical ballet, and then they go on to study Tai Chi, um, as well as I believe some other martial art forms. Ballet is the same, it's very technique driven. You have very precise movements, your port de bras, your plie, there is a definite way of doing things, whereas in Cloudgate, it was very fluid movement, and it was driven by your internal it was very much driven by your soul.